Hi guys, it's Rick Shields here at the Saudi International and I've got an exclusive Justin Rose What's in the Bag. Justin Rose went through a huge equipment change this year and he's going to join us to talk us through exactly what he's using in his set right now. If you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and leave me a comment down below. What do you think of Justin Rose's new clubs? So I'm joined with Justin Rose, world number one. And this is an exclusive What's yeah. in the Bag. First Thanks time we've so done much. this, no worries. So huge equipment change this year and obviously come, come off an incredible win, Farmers. Yep. Talk us through what you're using in the, in the bag right now. Should we start off with the, yeah. the big boy? Let's start off with the big dog. Honma Tour World 460, Tour World 747, which is their new product line. Um, I guess they've introduced the carbon crown along with it. Obviously, that's the technology that everybody's using, but like, they're, they're differentiating factors. It's 50% lighter than anybody else's carbon crown on tour. But the, what I love about it is that you can't really see it. It's such a subtle look from the top, very traditional, not you know, graphics wise, nothing funky going yeah, it's on. Very simplistic. Yeah, very, very simple looking, but obviously the technology is in there. And you seem to be getting some ridiculous ball speed with that. Yeah, it's been quick. Um, that, that really, this has been the biggest surprise for sure. Um, you know, it's three, four mile an hour faster than where else I've been testing and, um, you know, obviously been driving it really yeah, well yeah. last week and, and seeing the distance on the course too. And it's, and it's been very playable, Great. which is which is a good and thing. An easy switch. And then Fairway Woods? Yeah, Fairway Woods, I've stuck with the Taylor Maids. These have obviously stood the test of time, you know, obviously with what I was playing in yeah. the past. Um, gone with the new M6s, you know, I've always played the M4 fairway wood and no, actually I played the M3 fairway wood but I've got an M6 in both three wood and five wood but you know the way the way we configure the bag is that sometimes the five wood comes out and then we put in either one of these two uh, tour world utilities so you know these have awesome flights gets the ball up in the air also really quick and, and plenty of distance but depending on configuration of the golf course um, you switch it five wood and these two get kind of played around with and are they hollow head design at the bottom exactly hollow head design um, you know, these would be very much what I've replaced my P790s with. Okay. Um, you know, same type of technology, uh, gets the ball up in the air, but just a really clean look. You know, when I look down at it, obviously, you know, you can see the, you can see the back of it, but the, the, the top edge is really, really clean. Yeah, um, you know, it see. definitely looks like a, a player's club there's, from the top. There's help there, but you can't see it. Right, exactly. Dress. It's still sort of dressed up really well. So that's two and th that's two and three iron. And then what? Four down to nine. Are these the same irons? Yeah, four down to where, uh, four down to nine. Same irons. Uh, just a really nice, solid muscle back blade. Um, you know, I really sort of ha I talked a lot to the team about these. Just really trying to get the shape and the offset yeah. and the bounce exactly as I needed. Um, you know, I like the Japanese style. I like a pinched toe. Yeah. I like a high toe. Um, and not, not too much of a rounded toe. The reason I like a pinch toe is it makes the club look more upright than yeah. it actually is. Yeah. And when I see a club that looks upright, I feel like I have to be passive with my hands. When I see a club that looks flat, I feel like I've got to chase it. Draw it a bit yeah, too much. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so are these are completely handcrafted to your suiting? Yeah, shape-wise, yes, exactly. And obviously I think these are coming out in March, I believe. Oh, brilliant. Um, but yeah, I had a lot, a lot to do with how I wanted them That's to visually look. Yeah, exactly. And then wedges. And as we get into the wedges, I've always played, you know, what, it, what looks like a sand wedge in my 48. Um, and again, these are all just very classic shapes, but I got 48, 52, 56, and then I uh, found this guy in my garage and uh, <laughs> that's been working really, really well. So they look like they're going to go rusty. They do. They've got the raw finish on okay. them. So, you know, just slightly softer feel. Yeah. Um, they do, they do look rusty. They do go rusty, but um, you know, the, I think the benefits of the feel is, yeah. is what I like about that. And you'll swap quite a bit of the wedges? The wedges, um, you know, you, change them quite you can often? tinker around. But yeah, I do. Maybe every sort of three months, okay. I suppose. But, um, you know, if I get to the Open Championship, I might take out a wedge and then maybe have something like two and three iron in the yeah. bag. Because off the tee, to avoid pop bunkers, you really need to do that on links golf ball courses. Fights. Yeah. And in the putter? The putter's a bit drastic, a bit yeah. different. Yeah, Axis One. Um, and as you can see, it's got my name on here. Very nice. But we've worked really hard with them to try and make it aesthetically a bit more pretty. You know, they're, they're quite funky putters, but the technology is unbelievable. The CG and the sweet spot are perfectly in line, which gives it unbelievable balance. Right. It doesn't want to twist on you at all. Um, and obviously, we've figured out how to put this carbon fiber back on. Um, to make it look like what I was using before. Love it. And obviously awesome. my flat cat grip that I've been using for awesome. a while. Well, what a start to the season. Yeah. Last thing, question, golf ball you use? Uh, TP5, okay. yeah, you know, obviously with a lot of change that's been going on here, I wanted to have one constant. I wanted to keep the ball the same so I knew if the stuff was all working perfectly. Yeah. Oh, you're a superstar. Yeah. Thanks so much. Cheers, mate. Thank have you. a great season. All right, nice one. Thanks, Thanks so much. Cheers. Awesome. That's the Justin Rose's What's in the Bag. Ooh.